Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mitch Beavers. That's right, we're back again with the final episode of Morning Tide. This is a little quickie video where we're just gonna crack open three packs of Morning Tide, show off the art, show off the cards, take a look at what we get, right? Why not? Now, if you haven't voted, don't forget there is a poll linked below in the description. Uh, it will be valid until this coming Friday. So if you haven't watched this video until Friday, you've already missed it. Maybe you're watching this like, you know, a month or now from now. You've already missed it. It's way, it's way over. But for those of you watching this on release day, the poll will be good until this Friday. Make sure you go vote. Let me know what set you want to see next. I guess I should just do it like this, right? That makes more sense that you guys can actually see all of them. There are a few commons of note. Sage of Fables is, of course, one of the uncommons of note. So there you go. It's a couple bucks for that uncommon right there. Wolf Skull Shaman. Veteran Armaments. And, of course, we've got a Revel Arc, which I believe we've seen already out of this box. So, But, I mean, it makes sense to see duplicates because the set's only 150 cards. So it makes sense to see. I'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't seen more duplicates, to be honest. We got a sweet Kithkin soldier, and we got a foil. Oh, look at that foil. A Bosk Banneret foil. Look at that shiny man. Oof. Tree folks. Who doesn't like a tree folk every now and then, right? I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that enjoy the tree folk tribe. Hey, look at that. We've got the card from the front of the pack as the first card in the pack. Look at that. It's always neat when that kind of thing happens. Man, that Disperse art is so cool. So neat. Super, super neat. Alright. What else we got here? Ooh. Alright, so we didn't see any of the commons of note, but again, first uncommon of the pack is one of a value. The Bramblewood Paragon, very good for the warrior tribal decks. Um, so each other warrior creature you control comes into play with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Each creature you control the 1-1 one, one counter on it has trample. So, I mean, you all know how, how good the plus 1 plus 1 counters and they have trample are now because it's seen a lot of new play with the Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiances. Swell of Courage, Research, The Deep, and Knowledge, Explore, Exploitation. My goodness. So it has Prowl, and it says search target opponent's library for an instant or sorcery card. You may play that card without paying its mana cost. Then that player shuffles his or her library. And Prowl for four says you may play this for its Prowl cost if you've dealt combat damage to a player this turn. So it's essentially like a raid, right? It's a raid cost, only it's called Prowl. So there you go. And magic rules for, or rules tip for creature types. And we got another foil. Look at that. Two foils this week. That's pretty crazy. Kithkin Zephyrnaut. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I, two foils in one week is pretty awesome. I'll take it. I will take it. And we've hit some uncommons of note this week as well, so I'm pretty stoked about this week so far. We still haven't hit that that sweet, sweet bitter blossom though. Stream of Unconsciousness? Is that the one? I feel like it's not the one. I feel like it's not the one. There's there's two commons in blue that are of note. And I don't think it's Stream of Unconsciousness. I think it's something else. I can never remember which one it is. Alright, first uncommon is a wolf skull. Shaman, and a Swell of Courage, and a Thieves Fortune. All right, this is the last pack. Do we have some of that last pack magic? Oh, it is black, but it's not a Bitter Blossom. It's Marlin of the Mornsong. Legendary Elf Wizard. Three. Players can't draw cards. Holy moly. Beginning of each player's draw step, that player loses three life, searches his or her library for a card. Dear me. Uh, 
I gotta assume that this card is... I gotta assume that this card is banned in Commander, right? I don't, I don't know Commander well enough, so... Let's see. I gotta assume. And hey, we got a sweet wolf token. Nice. Super sweet. Uh What is this? Marlin of the Morn Song? Why what the heck is this? Marlin of there we go. It's showing me like the avatar from MTGO. Oh, it's legal in Commander. It's interesting. It seems like an interesting card. I mean, like it's obviously not great in Commander because it lets your opponents do the same thing. Uh, but it could make for some pretty insane games of Commander. Like going and getting essentially like everyone essentially instead of drawing cards, just going and getting their win cons and just like a battle of win cons. Interesting. Could be very broken. Could be very broken. Anyway, there you go, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. This has been a little quickie of Morning Tide, the last one. Make sure you go and leave a vote for uh, what set you want to see next. There are three options. There is Corset 2013. There is Planar Chaos. And there is Dissension. All of which are sets I need to open and add to my collection. Um, so that's why they're there. Thank you so much, everyone. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.